What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, podcasts, and more, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Do you believe at at all what former Astro Evan Gaddis is saying about the Dodgers and him claiming the Dodgers were cheating in 2017 too. Do you believe it at all? On a scale of 1 to 10 on the BS meter, what do you give Evan Gaddis' claims that the Dodgers were also cheating in 2017? And two, what would it take for you to ever get past the Astro science feeling scandal? What would it take for you to get over it? I want your takes down below in the comment section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So I was going to put out a video on this a few weeks ago about former Astro Evan Gaddis accusing the Dodgers of also cheating in 2017. I've had a lot of you out there ask me to do a video on it, my thoughts on it. Well, first, let's get you caught up on Evan Gaddis' bold claims that he made on the podcast Strohs Around the World. It's hosted by a fellow in the UK. Yes, I was today years old when I found out that the Astros had fans in the UK. And in this interview, he made some extremely bold claims. Let's get into them. So here's some of the quotes from the interview. There's people in our clubhouse who have had to call other people from the Dodgers clubhouse and say, hey, you need to clean up your shit because, yo, we know, bro, why you got to be like that? He would go on to say, everybody has a system. Everybody knows a buddy that has a buddy that's on the Dodgers in the baseball world. It's like, yo, we know. So you guys got to kind of chill out with that shit. And then I've got some clips from the podcast itself. Yes, I took one for the team. I listened to this entire two-hour podcast. I'll never get those two hours of my life back. I would rather listen to Alex Rodriguez read the phone book than listen to Evan Gaddis talk about the Astros sign-stealing scandal because it really made my blood boil. Here's him talking about how it was fun for them to be cheaters. Well, after that, like, I really didn't give a shit anymore. Like, I really didn't care about morality anymore. It's yeah. Like, there's oh, wow. no, like, yeah. fuck that. It's all out. It's out mm -hmm. the window. No, fuck that. Like, we're going to win. And uh, I, was, I was for it, too. Nobody ever wants to talk about it. It was fun. <laughs> like, watching, like, bang, and a curveball come. Oh, and God. fucking Springer fucking launch one in the tracks. <laughs> Nobody ever wants to say how fun it was. You know? But it was. And also, it was like, going back. Oh, all right, so there's Beltron, you know, Cora, all that, whatever. Um, I don't know, like, what I can say. It was introduced by them. Really? It was fun, whatever. A guy hangs a slider and you hit it out. How about that guy's stats? How about the money that that pitcher may have not been able to make because his numbers were inflated because he was pitching against the Houston Trastros? That's funny to you? To me, there's nothing funny about stealing to win the game's ultimate prize. I think that was such a load of BS. It shows the lack of respect that he has for the game because not everyone has cheated in Major League Baseball. Yes, baseball has been the sport that has been plagued by cheating. From the Phillies, back in the 20s to the Giants of the 50s to the steroid era. There's been so many examples of widespread cheating in Major League Baseball. It's a tale as old as time. So one, to claim that everyone has been cheating, that's not true. And two, it's really insulting to some of the legends that have made this game what it is. Now, he will go on to say that he knows the Dodgers had placed cameras at Minute Maid Park. So here's his claim that the Dodgers, just like the Astros, were using cameras to cheat in the 2017 World Series series yeah i don't know what the dodgers were doing but they definitely installed cameras so there's that um, and the yankees and i think they had a guy pretending i don't know about the yankees i don't know what they had um i'd have to ask but then again it's like the good old boy system yeah it's like uh people i know and played golf with that played for boston and new york mm -hmm. and Never mind. I'm not going to narrow the list no, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and work for certain yeah, yeah. Uh, companies. Like, uh, yeah, what are they going to do? They're not going to incriminate their boys. Like, it's it's kind of like that. 
So don't you just love that? He starts by saying, I don't know what the Dodgers were doing, but they definitely installed cameras. Wait a minute, Evan. I thought you didn't know what the Dodgers were doing. Now you're going to make the claim that they cheated a very bold claim that would change the history of baseball forever. Because look, I think Major League Baseball, they would want that. They would want to have the Dodgers be cheating as well because then they said, oh, both teams were cheating and they wouldn't have to worry about the backlash. We can just have the Astros win the World Series and say, oh, they were the better cheaters that year. So I think Major League Baseball, they have, of course, botched this. We've talked about that again and again. And so let me get this straight, Evan. You're saying the Dodgers had cameras installed at Minute Maid Park. If that was the case, wouldn't they also have cameras installed at Dodger Stadium? That's how you would get a real home field advantage, just like the Astros did that season. Well, wouldn't that help them in Game 7? Because in Game 7, the Dodgers went 6 for 32 with one extra base hit, and that was a double by Chris Taylor. They also left 10 men on base and went 1 for 13 with runners in scoring position. I'm pretty sure if the Dodgers were cheating, they would have taken advantage at that point. There's no way that they would say, oh, it's Game 7. Let's just stop cheating right here. Okay, let's win this Game 7 legitimately. No, because the Dodgers weren't cheating. They weren't installing cameras. They didn't steal signs in real time and use them to decode and then whistle or bang trash cans or all the stupid stuff that the Astros were doing. Because if they were, the internet sleuths, the Astros fans would have already found it and they would have used that against them at this point. Now, of course, I believe anything in this world and I'm not naive to think that all baseball players are perfect and just because they wear the Dodger uniform, they're holier than now. That's definitely not the case. But in this case, there's no doubt in my mind that the Dodgers weren't using cameras the same way the Astros were. Because one, if there was, we'd already know by now some guy would have leaked some information. And then two, you would have those internet sleuths out there reviewing game footage. They would have found some hints or some clues. They would have seen the Dodgers whistling or banging trash cans or doing stupid stuff like the Astros were doing. But they haven't because it didn't happen. So I think this is a completely bogus claim. If he wasn't, he'd already have proof at this point. If the Astros knew the Dodgers were cheating, they would have already leaked proof at this point because of how much heat they've taken over the last few years. So it looks like I might have to add Evan Gaddis to the Oscar the Grouch I Love Trash song. Oh, I love trash. Anything dirty or dingy or dusty. Anything ragged or rotten or rusty. But let me know down below in the comments. Do you believe Evan Gaddis at all in his claims that the Dodgers were cheating in 2017? And on the BS meter, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you give his bold claims? I want your takes down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For up-to-the-minute Dodgers news, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all the latest Dodgers Nation t-shirts, head over to gearup.la. Some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game. You're going to find it right over there at www.gearup.la. For the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.